Pokemon world is full of fascinating, elegant, beautiful, merciless killers that will end your life in an instant. So today we're going to look at some of them, because believe it or not, there are a lot of new Pokemon that you should just stay the hell away from, or they'll probably kill you. So why not take a look at 10 of the most interesting killer Pokemon that was introduced in the 7th generation. And because I have no experience of being killed, I thought it'd be best not to do this video alone, just to make sure that the Pokemon that we're about to talk about can definitely, you know, kill you. I'm joined by Arizo. say hi! I may not be dead on the outside, but on the inside, it's a whole nother story. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. And with that being said, this intro is f***ing stupid, how do you do this every single- Let's get started. <clears throat> anyway, let's start by taking a look at a Pokemon whose dex entry calls it incredibly dangerous. That being Stuffle. Despite its adorable appearance, when it gets angry and flails about, its arms and legs could knock out a pro wrestler sprawling. Incredibly dangerous? Definitely. A killer though? Maybe not. Well, that is until it evolves, because according to Beware's Moon Dex entry, many trainers have left this world after their spines were squashed by its hug. Yeah, the Alola Dex as we all know is full of dark entries, and this one is no exception. Beware can give you the literal hug of death. Not a nice way to go, but this is just the beginning of the list. Death by Cuddly, or in this case Not So Cuddly Bear, not so bad. Death by Sand, however? Not a great time. Sandygast is one of the creepiest, if not the creepiest, Pokemon I've ever seen. If you read into this Pokemon's biology, you'll find out that it mind controls people and Pokemon to do its bidding. The scary part is that it can suck the life force out of humans and Pokemon through its mouth. Just imagining it could command you to suffocate under its sand is disturbing within itself. And you would think that it might get better as it evolves, but oh how wrong and dumb were you to think that. Just look at this Pikachu, man. Does it look like it's having a good time? No, it's not. And if you think that this Pokemon won't kill you, check out its dex entry from Pokemon Moon. Buried beneath the castle are masses of dried up bones from those whose vitality it has drained. I don't think there's anything more to be said here. That's pretty disturbing. Let's move on to another Pokemon that can kill you in a less disturbing way. The grass guardian deity, Tapu Bulu. Aside from being based on a bull, which already seems pretty dangerous, is able to pull large trees by the roots and swing them around. Let's make a comparison. This is a wooden baseball bat. If you were hit by one of these, it would hurt. A lot. Now let's times the size of this wooden bat by, let's say, 100. If a Tapu Bulu started to swing around one of these, and you were close by, yeah, you'd be dead. Best not get too close to a Pokemon that's able to swing around something as massive as a tree. Now we know that the Guardian Deities are very dangerous and powerful Pokemon, but did you know that one of the most deadly Pokemon isn't even a foot tall? Mimikyu, the disguised Pokemon, can literally kill anybody by just revealing its true identity. While I may be over-exaggerating a bit, it's still alarming to note that a scholar who saw its true form died of shock. But he did it for science though, so I guess it's okay, right? Just wished he could've got a picture though. Boy. Generation 1 introduced a turtle that had water cannons, strong enough to punch through steel, while Generation 7 decided to introduce another extremely dangerous turtle Pokemon, in the form of Turtonator. The shell on its back is chemically unstable, and explodes violently if struck, so it'd be best not to take this thing out on a walk. Hit its shell too hard, or it trips even, and you're basically dead. Oh, and if you didn't think that was enough, its dung is an explosive substance. You can't even pick up after it. So basically, Turtonator would be one of the worst possible choices for a pet in the Pokemon universe. High chance of killing you either with the giant mine on its back, or, well, with its own shit. Wonderful. 
Speaking of wonderful, how great is Drampa, right? It's super adorable, it looks like Falcor, and you can even blaze with it. Wait, scratch that, don't do drugs. This Pokemon is normally really friendly, but if you piss it off, it will throw one of the worst temper tantrums you will ever see. In fact, it would probably be the last temper tantrum you will ever see, as its dex entry states, it has a compassionate personality, but if it is angered, it completely destroys its surroundings with its intense breath. Now that may not sound as bad as some of the others on this list, but that happens from it just breathing. When it attacks, it can knock down buildings. Buildings! So if you ever think about bullying that one kid at school, just don't, because his best friend might just be a Drampa. Now let's move on to the Ultra Beasts. So looking at these guys, all of them could probably kill you, let's be fair. But we're gonna take a look at the more interesting ones, starting with Kartana. Now despite being only a foot in height, it's still not something you'd want to be anywhere near. It was observed cutting down a gigantic steel tower with one stroke of its blade. Wow, it seems pretty sharp. Or should I say, impossibly sharp. Along with cutting down steel towers, any opponents that try to attack it will be similarly cut down. If it wasn't bad enough that you're not able to hug Beware without being killed, you wouldn't even be able to touch your katana without getting hurt. Or more likely, cut in half. Hey Raizo, who would you rather hug? Beware or katana? Um, I'll meet you halfway and hug Buzzwall, which wouldn't be a good idea either because this thing would freaking pulverize you. This Pokemon at first glance looks like it could kill you, and when you take a closer look at it, guess what? It can freaking kill you. If you take a look at its Pokemon Moondex entry, it states that witnesses saw it pulverizing a dump truck with a single punch. This right here is a dumpster truck, and on average, they weigh about 500 tons. And in a single punch, it could literally destroy it. So what chances do you have against it, huh? Plus, if it hugged you, it would probably kill you anyways. Moving on, we have possibly the most dangerous tree Pokemon, Zerka Tree, because it shares small aspects with the tree and even has tree as part of its name, technically making it a tree Pokemon. Zerka tree is very dangerous, okay? And here's why. Its body contains an organ that produces energy, and it can discharge up to 1 million volts at once. In comparison, the electric chair uses around 2,000 volts. So if you think about it, a shock from a Zerka tree will be the equivalent of 500 electric chairs. That's a lot of energy. And considering it only takes one electric chair to take out a person, 500 would definitely be overkill. And finally, the last Pokemon we're going to be talking about is the closest thing to a black hole, Guzzlord. Of course we know that black holes are dangerous, so it's pretty obvious that Guzzlord is one of the most dangerous Pokemon of all time. And if you take a look at its Pokemon Sundex entry, it states, It has gobbled mountains and swallowed whole buildings according to reports. Surprisingly, we haven't talked about a Pokemon that could eat you yet, but there is a first for everything. Imagine just one day waking up from your beautiful house in Kaba, walking up to the kitchen to grab breakfast, and seeing a huge Guzzlord devouring your entire house you probably would die during that process. And from the looks of things, there would be no remains for you to be found. In Pokemon Moon's Dex entry, it states it appears to be eating constantly, but for some reason, its droppings have never been found. So when you do eventually get eaten by Guzzlord, there will be no remains or evidence of your death to be found. A bit dark when you think about it. And those are just 10 of the many Pokemon that could probably kill you pretty easily from the 7th generation. Still, that's not going to stop you from using any of these Pokemon on your team. If anything, more of you will stop using these Pokemon on your team. So Arizo, if you had to be killed by any of these Pokemon, which one would you pick? Hmm, I don't know man, I think it'd be pretty badass to get taken out by an Incineroar since they are known for attacking opposing trainers. Pretty scary if you think about it. Yeah, that's kind of worrying. Although definitely pretty cool at the same time. Does this mean that Incineroar is the deadliest Alola starter? Well, why don't we find out on my channel? We can figure out what statistically is the best starter Pokemon in Pokemon Sun and Moon. But your last starter video was on Unova. In fact, your last two were on Unova. It'd be pretty weird to skip out an entire generation, don't you think? So shouldn't this one be on Kalos? Shut up! Whatever. See you over on Arizo's channel if you didn't already come from there. And feel free to tell us of any other 7th generation Pokemon that are possibly even more deadly than the Pokemon that we just talked about. And who knows, maybe I'll talk about them in another video. And if you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon videos in the future. Also, please be sure to bing the bell if you are subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much for watching.